What is going on YouTube? It is Carlos Valentin here back with the continuation of our Recycle EV tutorial. First thing is first, I do want to apologize for this video taking too long. I have been very busy with my new course, but with that out of the way, let's actually go ahead and get started. Okay, so in this video, we're going to actually be making our adapter for the Recycle Review. So let's actually go into App. Let's go into Java, into our main package here, Views. We're going to right click New. Java class, and we're going to call this one just football adapter. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. So we're going to go ahead and extend recycle view dot adapter. Okay, so we're going to just do all enter to implement the methods. It looks good. Now, as you guys know, everybody has their own way of doing things. This is how I personally like to make my adapter. So if you guys want to try something new, go ahead and try this out. I do like this way just because it offers a lot of flexibility, as we will see. Okay, so first thing is first, I like to just define a few variables, starting with our context that we're going to use. So private. And so in the future, we're going to actually have, this is going to be hosted by a fragment, this recycle review. And that fragment's parent activity is going to be, or hosting activity, is going to extend app compact activity. So private app compact activity, m activity. And again, this is just going to be the context that's going to hold the, the recycle review. Okay? After that, we're going to actually have a list of the object that we're going to hold. So private list. Oh, we're actually, so that was, there we go, private list. And so football team. We're going to say m. Let's just say M football teams is fine. But ball teams, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and define an inflator. So private layout inflator. And there we go. And I'm just going to say M inflator. Perfect. And finally, guys, I'm actually going to make it an interface. So I'm going to scroll all the way down, make some space here. And I'm going to say public interface. And I'm going to call this interface football listener. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Now, if you guys are a little bit unfamiliar with Java, maybe you guys need some brushing up. Interface is pretty much just a method or a class full of methods. Okay, so inside this interface, I'm simply just going to define a method called, let's just say void. We're going to say on football clicked. And we're going to pass it in football team, football team. And I'm going to say on football team, click instead. It's a better name. Okay, perfect. So now inside our actual global variables, I'm going to say private. And we're going to say football listener. We're going to say M listener. Perfect. Okay, so after that, I'm going to go ahead and define a constructor for our adapter. So alt insert override or actually that was incorrect, I'll insert constructor. And we're gonna pass in our contact, which is gonna be our activity and our listener, our interface, okay? Okay, so after the constructor is called, now that we have access to a context, we can now fill out the inflator. So m inflator, it's going to be equal to m activity dot get layout inflator, perfect. Okay, so now that we have access to the inflator, we can actually just go ahead and and instantialize the football team so and football teams is going to be equal to a new array list perfect now i do like to have this method the setter method inside my recycle reviews to set the data so alt insert setter and i'm going to go ahead and select football teams now i'm going to just change this up a little bit so i'm just going to put this as football teams i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this okay so i'm going to just say First, I'm going to clear out the old data. So mfootballteams.clear. Then I'm going to add this football teams here inside our, our list, which is going to update the data inside the recycle view. So mfootballteams.add football teams, or actually add all is better. There we go. Football teams. Then finally, once everything is set, I'm just going to notify the adapter that the data did change. So notify data set changed. Okay, perfect. Now we, are, now, we do have a little bit of a problem because if you guys do remember, we do have a pretty, well, not super complicated recycle view, but it is a little bit different because we do have a little header on top and then the actual body itself. So here on the onCreate view holder, we're going to have two 
actual view holders. The first one's going to be the header, which we actually defined here. Then we have the body. So, and the problem is, is that for each position, we need to obviously pass in a different holder. Now, notice here in onCreate view holder, there is no position. There is no position argument. So we can't use that. So we have to get kind of creative and find the adapter when to pass in the header view holder and the body view holder. The way I like to do this is to overwrite a method first. So I'm going to come up here right after this set method. I'm going to say alt insert override and we're going to override the on or get item view type. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this. So very quickly, I'm just going to draw a quick map here. And so we're going to have a header here inside our recycle view and then a body. This is going to help just kind of visualize everything. Okay, so now if the position is equal to zero, so now if the position is equal to zero inside the recycle view, we're gonna be here inside this header. I'm gonna come up here and just make a few or just a couple of actual ints. So privates, final ints. I'm just gonna say maybe header underscore type going to be equal to one. And then here, private final int body type going to be equal to two. Okay, awesome. So let's actually come down here. So now if position is equal to zero, meaning we're right here inside the very first element, the header, we're simply just going to say return view type. And I believe it should just, oh, I put header. Okay, so return header type. Okay, so now, now if we're here inside the body, now we're gonna have to return the body type. So we're simply just gonna say position minus minus. That's gonna take us here inside this body now. And then after that, we're gonna say, if the position is less than M football teams at size, meaning that we're somewhere inside the body, we're simply just going to return body type, perfect. So now we, we effectively told the recycler view adapter where we're going to for each of these elements what view type to return. Awesome. Okay, so now here at the very end, I like to just give myself a little notice. So if for some reason we become out of this little or we actually exit out of this little header body, I have to throw myself an exception. So first I'm gonna say position minus equals m football teams out size. And here I'm going to say throw new illegal argument exception. It should just be argument exception. And we're going to say position, whatever the position is, we're going to say plus is out of bounds for this adapter. Just a little reality check for myself, I like to say. Okay, so now that we have this get item view type filled out, we can actually come back here into our on create view holder and fill this out now. So we're gonna simply say here, first we're gonna define some views. So view, we're gonna say header view, going to be equal to m inflator, which we actually define up top, dot inflate, r dot layout, dot, and import the r statement. And I believe we just call this one header. There we go, recycle review, comma parent for the for the view group and false. And then view, body view, going to be equal to m inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot list football team parent false. So again, for the header, we have this little search bar. And for the actual body, we just have the actual list, how we want the list items to look like. Perfect. Okay, so here we're just gonna say if our view type, which is an actual argument here inside this method. So now if a view type is equal to, and we're gonna say, I believe just header, header type. So now if the view type is equal to header type, we're gonna say header view, or actually return view holder, header view holder. And let's actually instantiate that. So return new header view holder and pass in our header view. Perfect. Okay, 
So now else, that means that we're inside the body. Return new, body view holder, body view. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've effectively told the actual adapter what view holder to return for each of the types, which is the header or the body. And I do want to do one more thing here. So I can't just return this body view because this body view holder, because if you guys remember, we do have some clicks on that or the elements can be clicked. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm actually going to define a body view holder. View holder is going to be equal to a new body view holder. And I'm going to pass in the body view there. View holder dot item view dot set on click listener new on click listener so now when each of the elements are clicked inside the body we need to do something go view view so we're going to say football team football team is going to be equal to view holder dot item view dot get tag and we do need to go ahead and just say that this is going to return a football team now if you guys remember a while back in the last video if you actually go back into inside our body view holder here we did actually set the item view tag to the football team so here in the adapter we're just going to go ahead and retrieve it and after we retrieve it guys we're just going to go ahead and set the click listener so now football team and actually we're going to do m listener which is our interface dots on football team clicked football team so now our interface is actually going to handle the click and we're going to go ahead and use that interface inside our actual fragments so we can have a better grasp of what's going on but for right now everything's looking good and finally after this else statement we're just simply going to return so right before this else statement ends we're going to return our view holder perfect okay looking good Okay, and with that out of the way, guys, we are out of time. So we will finish up this adapter very soon in the next video. One more time for the road. My name is Carlos Valentin. I am an Android Udemy instructor, and I teach very complicated topics on Android. So if you guys want, go ahead and check me out, and I promise you will not be disappointed. All right, so I will see you guys soon. But until then, don't forget to keep coding.